heavy. That shit is heavy. All right, guys. Today we are golfing. I haven't been golfing a long time. I don't have a lot of experience with it, but we are gonna find out today how far I can hit a golf ball. What happens if I try and do the Happy Gilmore? How heavy is a golf cart, by the way? I don't know. We'll find out. Stay tuned. Cool. All right, guys, I want to introduce you to my friend Jay here. Jay owns Berserker Strength where I train and he does a lot of stuff with my training and my diet stuff and everything and he's also that that creepy guy who watches you too closely but in a good way. So Always watch you. Jay is going to come out and mess around with me a little bit on the golf course. I figured it would be fun to see two of us big guys even though he's a little bit more, uh, I'd say, seasoned in golfing. That's the nice way of saying. <laughs> so now you guys get to see me do the Happy Gilmore. But we also get to see Jay do the Happy Gilmore. That's right. So style and class. That's right, baby. Jay reminded me everything is a competition, so we're gonna do this. Closest one to the target wins. Losers gotta do, what are we gonna do? Oh, hell. <laughs> it's a manly bet, Man, a friend bet, friend bet. This one's for fun, the warm up bet. Who can get, out of three strokes, who can get the closest to the target? Did I hit the target? No. Oh, wait, wait, wait. To the right. Okay, so I didn't hit the target. I'm, I'm, I think I was Dude, like a couple feet away. That was close. <laughs> That's close. <laughs> I'll let you guys in on the secret real quick before we go any further. My mid range is tight. Mid range. <laughs> Some. I would throw it on the way. No. Oh. All right, here, here, here. Try this one. This is my baby. It's like when you get to take a senior to prom, you're a freshman. It might be more than you can handle, but you're going to get through it. You got this. Oh. Babe Ruth. Let me use your old dick swinger. This thing is rusted and been circumcised twice. This is old man leather here. There we go. You get this from JFK's collection? JFK. <laughs> Dwight, Dwight Eisenhower. Dwight Eisenhower, there we go. There we are, here we go. Oh. There we go. I feel like I hustled him, but I'm not really that good. What everybody wants to see, the big boy. I'm not gonna give it full juice. I'm gonna save it up, I gotta warm up. At the end of the video, I'll be warmed up and I'll give it a full swing, but let's see what we got for now. It went far, and I think it took out somebody's small child across the street over there. <laughs> All right, I'm warm. All right, so this, we're gonna start off as a par four. As weird as this sounds, I know myself, and I'm gonna use a nine iron, because I'm not a golfer. We starting on this one? I just hit a duck. See that duck? I just hit it. Okay, I'll go one more. Mulligan! <laughs> right. On grass still. Still. Over the path. On the hill. That's a good shot. I really used to go golf a little bit. That wasn't bad. If we're playing best ball, I'm going with that. If we're playing best ball. 
Nice. That's uh, 200 yards dead straight with a nine. I guarantee you any real golfers watching, they're like, this guy has no idea what he's doing. Yeah. And you're right, I don't. <laughs> they, they don't take away a W for style, do they? <laughs> they don't give me one for the rest of my style. I don't really want to go home in a big house. And what we're going to do now is get to play a little mid-range, get up on that green. Man, I'm good. Too f***ing hard. That was so soft too. Too strong for golf. Oh, I didn't even go all the way off the hill. That's really a bad shot though. It's a par four. I could be shooting for a birdie right now. Instead, trying to get this off this hill to make it a par. It's just using the right club. I'm trying to be Tiger Woods 04, not Tiger Woods 14. You know what I'm saying? Probably way off on the years, by the way. You know, it takes a lot of balls to golf like I do. <laughs> All right, this, is it for this is the one, this is the one. This is it, baby. <laughs> <laughs> it gets funny every time. <laughs> I guess if you can't beat them, join them. You know, I want to ask you guys something. And you guys can comment and let me know what you think. I always found it weird that people would spend so much money to live like right on a golf course. You know, like the most expensive houses in town are always right on a golf course. And if I was getting one of the most expensive houses in town, I wouldn't want to be right where guys are making fart noises and laughing and drinking and stuff, you know? Like, it never made any sense to me. And maybe I'm missing something. So, you know, now we're doing these videos, let's communicate. What do you guys think? What, what's the big deal about living right here? Is it just the, you don't have to go far to golf? Is that really it? You can see right into these people's living room. Don't show it, don't show it, but like, we're literally on the back porch and you can see like her paintings, her dirty underwear. Golf balls. Right. Like, you know? You gotta how? have some kind of insurance or something. I'm guessing- How often are you getting hit by golf balls right here? Gotta be all the time. I don't think I could live out here. Plus there's people like us. That's the real issue. All right guys, this is what you all wanna see, I'm sure. Let's see how far I can hit this with the driver. I'm gonna crush it as hard as I possibly can. I don't have high hopes, I think it might go okay, but after that, then I'm gonna happy Gilmore this thing, and I've never really tried it, so I'm gonna give it my full 100% and try and see how far we can smack this. You can see we got plenty of space. Let's see what we got. So, uh, pretty low and to the right there. I told you I can hit the nine a lot better, so. I'm gonna give it a go. I think, I think, uh, try and get up underneath it a little more, maybe. Okay, that went way further, and I got underneath it, but still going to the right. So it's, uh, happy Gilmore time. Final challenge, we're gonna see who can do the happy Gilmore the furthest. We both gotta pick our weapons. I'm taking my nine here, my trusty, beautiful nine. You've got a, got a driver. driver. Yeah, we're gonna use driver. Okay, so he's already this. cheating, but I can still do it, I got this. <laughs> here we go. Oh, I was close, I was there. We're gonna get it. You got this. Starting too far away. 
Happy started like here. That's what it is. Silly. Oh! Oh, I almost hit the ducks! I went right between three ducks. Can't even move. You got it. That was a clean connection. What? 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 I think yours went about ten feet further than mine. You got a ball on you? All right, I'm switching. I'm gonna go with the driver. Come on, baby. <sighs> Whip it good. Okay, not bad. <laughs> All right, last shot. I'm gonna go with my trusty nine. Try and get this right. All right. That went about uh, 400 yards and hit a house. That should be the end. How funny would it be if that was just some random corgi that didn't even belong in that yard? They're just gonna come out there and find a new dog. But anyways, let's get back to the action. All right guys, hope you enjoyed the video. I am going to go home now, but you can check the links below if you wanna see the merch or any of that stuff. We've got these things for sale. Also, right now, I'm looking for suggestions. Anything you guys want us to do, any kind of stuff you guys want me to see me get going into, you know, whatever you guys want to do, let's let's take this in that direction, you know? So, we're just getting started, guys. What do you guys want to see? Let's have some fun, and uh, always, stay strong and pretty.